coming up on NBC World of Sports. Port Moresby Softball Grand Final and the A-League Grand Final. The results of the Intra Super Cup, NRL, AFL and Super 15s. And we have a chat with five Kumu debutants. Plus, we show you how to get around Dubai with our play of the day. Hi, I'm Skola Sengi. And I'm Cecil Levine and welcome to our first episode of NBC World of Sports. Where we bring you the latest sporting headlines, news and updates from across PNG and the world. That's right Skola and what's even better is we get to bring it to you five nights a week, every week for our devoted supporters and fans. So let's get straight into it with our major headlines. The Port Mosby softball men's competition came to a halt as the grand final was played over the weekend. A fired up Lomano Yokoma side came out to take their spot as the 2016 champions after beating former Premiership holders NT Pest United Brothers. Showing their best performance yet, the Yokomos overcame a trying United Brothers outfit with a 7 runs to 2 victory. As tough as the game could get, the Yokomo stayed ahead in the score sheets all throughout the match. By the end of the fourth inning, the score stood at seven runs to two till full time. Yokomo's young Hela Clifford Kaus was instrumental in leading his side as he kept giving the brothers batsmen a tough time. A happy Yokomo's coach Hulala Tokome said it was limited mistakes and good betting that got them the win. You know, for us, you know, softball is all about limited mistakes and then batting, right? So our batting really was on show today. First two innings, we, we basically uh, had, 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 it, had, had the, uh, the ball game pretty much uh, wrapped, wrapped up in the second inning. We should have at least caught another three or four runs in the third and the fourth. Um, but anyway, that's the way softball goes. Huh? He also thanked everyone that had supported them throughout the season, especially major sponsors, Lamana Hotel. Well, firstly, our sponsors, of course, Lamana Hotel. They've been uh, behind the club for the, since the club's inception uh, two, year, uh, two, two seasons ago. So they've been always behind, behind us, and without them, we wouldn't have the uniforms and the, uh, the equipment that we play with. So they've been a fantastic support behind the club. A Neves captain, Paul Bogan, did not have much to say. However, told World of Sports that it had taken seven months for them to prepare. Plus, I don't play. It took you know, all the seven months to you know train, train, look how much this club way. Now we play from long time. With the boys, we play from input players, uh, like from Medeng, Dick, uh, Sete, Britain and uh, Kelly, fly more over to support the most people boys players um, to come into the finals. You know, it's a very big thing. Yeah! <laughs> A League Grand Final and the Fairy Tale is complete after failing to record eight win in the first eight games of the season. Adelaide United has secured their first A League Championship. Bruce Kamau opened the scoring in the 20th minute before their Spanish star Isaias really had Adelaide Oval crowd on their feet. It's going to be Isaias! Oh! Isaias, the Spaniard! Si, senor! Si! Two goals for the good Adelaide! Having been 3-0 down in their semi-final win over Brisbane, the Wanderers knew exactly what was required to save the match. Scott Neville scored a second-half goal to keep their slim hopes alive, but the home side regrouped and Pablo Sanchez put the result beyond doubt in the 90th minute. The Reds holding on for an historic 3-1 win. Finally, it's been a long time. Wanderers played well. They made it difficult, especially in the second half. But what a team, you know. It's a fantastic family. I said that last week. Came against a good team today, but something special about this group, you know. And a message to the owners, re-sign Pablo Sanchez, because he is a gem. Thanks, Scholar. And the SP Hunters bounced back from last week's loss to win the Stan Joyce Cup 
And I'll tell you what, they did well because the Dolphins are finishing quite fast. Yes, another nail-biter there. That could have been anyone's match, especially in the last 10 minutes. But our boys held on to come away with the two points. Yes, a valuable two points there. After nine rounds of competition, uh, the win puts the Hunters uh, on second place behind Willy Minogo's Blackhawks. We'll go for a quick break and be back with more. You're watching NBC World of Sports.